do any of these sound familiar to you? You can ask yourself a lot of what ifs in life. You keep thinking, what's the hidden meaning behind what so-and-so just said to you? You constantly relive those past mistakes or hurts that you've been through. You can't stop worrying about something or many things. You sometimes assume the worst is going to happen in a situation. If that's you, we totally get it. Yeah. We've been there. Um, but by the end of this video, you are going to know how to break those cycles and feel confident in your own self and your own heart to stop overthinking. Yes, and before we jump in, don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell if you enjoy subjects like this or if this is helpful to you uh, because we are gonna be pumping out tons of videos all about holistic Christian solutions to help you thrive mind, body, and spirit. Overthinking was like my second job <laughs> for the longest time. So not only did I struggle with anxiety, PTSD, living with that for so long, I was constantly trying to figure out how can I protect myself in the situation. I was living out of fear from my past pains and I was always looking out for myself and overthinking about many situations. So not only have I now helped many clients and people work through their own overthinking and their own worries, uh, but I've personally been there and I've personally walked myself out of those things because of Jesus and a lot of things. So point number one, the first thing that has to happen, and no matter who you are, you have to do first is to become aware that you're overthinking. So the first step is awareness to understand that you are overthinking. Now, so many people want to make excuses as to why they have these negative thoughts that, you know, justify these thoughts and, and, and even agree with these thoughts and say that I'm just stuck. I'm here. I'm, I'm not going to change, you know, not, uh, doing something is not going to help. And so I think first off, you have to get over that. And I'll say this, that just by nature of you watching this video says that you've already hit the first goal. Like the first and most important step is already hit. So give yourself a high five. <laughs> You're doing a great job. And we're about to dive into about four more points that are going to get you over the hump that you have been wanting to get over. Um, but give yourself a high five first. Congratulate yourself. High five. Okay, second point, we want you to start journaling your, <laughs> this, you always do this in the video. You should have just got rolling I with know, it. but it made me laugh, it made me think about the number four situation. Okay, anyways. <laughs> okay, all right. Step number two, we want you to start journaling your thoughts for a day. So this is something you could do every day, but just start with one where you are writing down what those thoughts are when they come up. So you won't be able to write all your thoughts in one day. That would be overwhelming. We don't want you to do that, but just take time to become aware of those thoughts that you're having. So we want you to be able to nail it down and get to the point where you're like, okay, this is the first thought I have. This is the negative thought. And once you become aware, it's going to begin putting things in perspective. And we'll also give you some other steps to do um, coming up that will help you even squash those thoughts and just feel confident like it's not gonna be a big deal. So good. So point number three, number three, ready for this? Point number three, science calls it meditating and believes that meditating is an important part of this equation. Um, I believe that Jesus is actually wanting to spend time with you and by silencing your thoughts and allowing yourself to focus on Jesus, there's not only the natural ramifications and, and, and assets or positives, but there's the, there's the supernatural side. So 
when you spend time with Jesus and you even close your eyes and allow yourself to just focus, um, there's something supernatural that happens in that moment. And even when you get distracted, uh, just not worrying about it, just allow your mind to be pulled back to Jesus. Like, don't stress out because I, I thought about that thought again, or I, or I was thinking about something I needed to do today, or whatever it may be. Get along with Jesus, close your eyes, and be as careful as you can to be attentive to Him, and just simply listen. There's something so powerful that's going to take place, and, and really just bring your mind back anytime it gets distracted. What you're doing, it may sound simple, but what you're actually doing is you're disciplining your mind slowly but surely you're causing your mind to come into a place where you can master your thoughts and like the bible says take every thought captive and we're going to go into that uh exact scripture in a couple of points but this, the third one is simply to get alone with jesus meditate on him and silence your thoughts try to constantly come back where you're not distracted and just master your mind. But first, before we go into the next question or the next point, we want to ask you to put in the comments your answer to a simple question, which is what are you currently overthinking right now? Is there something that is constantly on your mind right this moment that you're thinking about or, or is the reason you came to this? What are you overthinking about? Uh, we would love to hear about it. We would love to pray for you about it. We would love to help you through it. So pop in the comments. We'd love to see what you got to say. So for the fourth point, this is super, super powerful. And this has helped me personally so, so much. And a lot of people we've worked with mm -hmm. is when you are able to identify that negative thought, try to say three positive things about that same situation. Good. And now this isn't to cover up any deep root. This isn't toxic positivity. This is a tool where you're actually breaking the habit and the thought pattern so in your mind where one thought feeds into a million negative thoughts. So what you're doing is stopping that cycle and thinking about three positive things that could come from yeah. that negative situation. So for example, say the thought is, these people don't like me. Okay, what's three positive things? Well, I like me, I think I'm awesome. That's awesome. Um, or you could think, well, there's a lot of people in my life that do lo love me and support me. Um, or another thought, positive thought would be, even if these people don't like me, that does not define me or my worth. And so when you break that negative thought of these people don't like me, you're saving yourself from catastrophizing or therefore spinning into that tornado of just negative thoughts. And you're rebuilding your confidence by saying, okay, this is good. Like there are good things about myself and I don't have to agree with this lie or this negative thought. So good. Yeah. And so, Point number five, and our very last point, is coming from 2 Corinthians 10, 5. It says, take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. Mm -hmm. So simply, when you have these negative thoughts, when you have a thought that comes up and is not, is not good, or even the good ones, Say, I declare this thought must come into obedience to Jesus Christ. And literally make that thought come under the Lordship of Jesus. And then what you do is you invite Jesus into the conversation mm -hmm. to declare truth. Yes. Jesus wants to speak to those negative, to what you're feeling. He wants to give you truth to replace the lie with. Okay, so these overthinking, these these constant, you know, thoughts that are coming and or maybe maybe it's just simply you're laying in bed and can't go to sleep because mm -hmm. maybe it's not negative thoughts. Maybe it's thoughts that you're just thinking about constantly. Mm -hmm. Well, I want you to understand you make your thoughts come under the Lordship of Jesus by declaring it out loud because your words have power, power to bring life or power to bring destruction and right. and constant negativity. Um, 
And so when you invite Jesus in to speak to those things, he calms your thoughts, he calms your mind, and he gives you peace. And I believe that when you do this, you're going to begin to see incredible, incredible results. You actually declare it and you say, Jesus, come into the conversation and declare truth. Now, if you've never heard the voice of the Lord and you want to learn, Jess actually made a really cool video where she went in. <laughs> and she actually uh, shares how to hear the voice of the Lord. Okay, so we'll link the video. Yeah, we'll link the video. It should be right here. <laughs> it may be here or maybe here. <laughs> it's somewhere. It may not even be in the video. It may be down here. <laughs> anyway, um, check that video out. It walks you through how to hear the voice of the Lord, and it's so powerful. Um, and I believe you're really going to benefit from that. So, uh, you know, commune with the Lord, mm -hmm. increase the sensitivity to hear his voice because you want his voice to be louder than negativity. And wait a second, before we go any further, I just want to tell you that me and Jess, we have a passion in life. And that is simply to help as many people as possible, just like you heal from past hurts, uh, boost confidence, overcome fear, and live a more joyful, peaceful, confident, and, and just fulfilled life. And so if that's something that sounds good to you, sounds like you know something you would be interested in, we want to connect with you. We'd love to talk with you and kind of share more about what that may look like for you. So uh, the link should be in the description. Uh, check it out. We'd love to jump on a call or just share more of similar things we do. Yes, and if this video was helpful for you, we would love to hear from you as well. And if you could do us a big favor and yourself a big favor, hit that subscribe and like button and notif well, notification button. And like. Yeah, you could like it. <laughs> and comment <laughs> and share it. Yes, we just want to keep you up to date with everything that's coming out and just see you step into that confidence that everybody deserves to be walking in. So, and here's some more videos that you can check out as well that we've recently put out. All right. Bless you. We love you. Bye. <laughs> Bye.